Hey guys, Six Boy, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add your Hit Leap viewer so into your Linux or Ubuntu VPS server or virtual private server. So here is Hit Leap hit leap dot com if you go here uh, I've already logged in so I'll just log out uh, basically this is a traffic exchange service um, I do use it for some purpose but not for YouTube um, so yeah for websites and other stuff uh, basically it's a traffic exchange all you do is you watch people's website and they will you'll get minutes and all, they, all the minutes will do will um be the minutes that people watch on your website so i have a few websites so websites force it back go P go back pedia and a shortest um link short link so i'm using a regular and you can pay for a premium and all stuff so for example you can go to traffic exchange and you can increase ratio that's premium but I'm just gonna stop talking about rubbish stuff so first you need a VPS server so I just go to Amazon AWS they give you one free year uh, trial um, but then you have to after a year you have to pay and it's quite expensive to be honest so I just log into my console and other stuff blah 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 yep so yeah I'll just go to easy to running instance and then here is my VPS so uh, this VPS is for head leap um, for purposes for this uh, uh, video's purpose so after you got this, you will have to um, connect it to the putty server, uh, fire putty. So I'll just go to my putty right now. Here is my putty, and I'll just refresh this really quickly. Uh, Okay, let me just start the whole thing again. Blah blah blah. Hmm. Anyways, um, so right here, this is your this is your um, address. So username at your um, IP address for the VPS, and then port is twenty two. So before you connect, you have to go to SSH and then auth. So auth, you have a browse, and I just browse Hitleap PPK. I'll make another video uh, on showing how to change the um, Amazon private key to Putty private key. So just click open, and here. So for so yeah, so all the stuff. So I've got it um, installed already, but I'll just do the whole thing again. So before you do anything, uh, you're not on root right now. So if you write sudo apt get update, so do the update and all the stuff. It shouldn't take that long. So while we're waiting, um, I'll be posting the all the cons uh, all the commands on a notepad, uh, so you guys can copy and paste it. So after you get the update, you have to download, uh, type sudo apt get install wine or wine one point seven or just wine. So yeah, installing and all those stuff. So now it is installed. So now you got the wine. Wine is basically a 
back of a sandboxy thing so you, it allows you to run um, Windows stuff on Linux so afterwards um, you have to type this really long code uh, so I'll just put it here so it's sudo apt get install nano xorg lxde dash core tight vnc server so then press enter it will download all this stuff so I've got xorg already installed uh, core as well so uh, yeah it, sh it shouldn't take that l that long um, around five minutes maybe if you have a good connection and um, they'll ask you do you want to continue and you just press Y um, and then afterwards you got this go to sudo, um, just type sudo nano and squiggly line dash dot vnc dash x start up so you get this um, you need this basically I'll copy this and paste it on a notepad as well in the same notepad and you can copy it and paste it so afterwards you just for example yeah blah 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 so I'll just yeah here um, for here this thing is control so I'll just write control exit and they'll ask you to save yes or no just press Y and then press enter so here it is you've changed the um, the file so now I've got um, VPS run VP VNC server uh, apologies VP uh, VS VNC server running already so you have to type VNC server for the first time and instead of getting this instead of getting this you'll be asked for a s password um, a connection connection password um, just type it and confirm again and there you go but before you do that um, after you've done that, apologies. After you've done that, reboot your VPS. Uh, VPS, yep. So type sudo reboot. So I'm not going to press enter, but reboot, reconnect it, and you can start the next step. So after you've created your um, VNC server login details or password, log log back in after rebooting, and type VNC server. colon 1 so instead of getting this you will get um, starting application specific specified in blah 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 log file blah 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 so for colon 1 because all the VNC servers starts with port 5900 so if you type colon 0 it's your port will be 5900 but <laughs> For my purpose, I'll be choosing one. So, if you press that uh, colon one, that means your port will be five nine zero one. So remember this port, and it started by typing VNC server colon one VNC server server. Um, for example, I'll just use VNC server colon two. Have you? Oh yeah, if you want to kill a server, type dash kill space and then colon 2 or colon the number you want to kill. So just kill my VNC server number 2 and you've done, um, yeah you've started the VNC server. So I'll just close my v uh, VNC and I'll just start, um, you need type VNC as well, you need type VNC. So link will be in the description for download type VNC and you need type VNC viewer so here um, that's my VNC and other stuff I'll just go to new VNC connection I'll just press fit the screen here so um, your IP address the same and then blah 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 oh I'll have to reboot my 
DPS. So here um, you can see it's my 54.154.129.45, that is my IP address. And um, and the double co you have to type double colon as you can see because enter IP name and IP enter name and IP address to specify port number append it after two colons. If you type one colon it won't work. So let's connect to my server really quickly, all the authentication and other stuff. So yep, I'll just start my VNC server colon one. Yep, and now I'll just refresh this. So here it is. Five nine zero one, and your IP double colon five nine zero one. Connect, and you should see this. You should see um VNC authentication. Type in your password. I'm just gonna hide mine, and you should see this. You see this. So here's my uh, hit lead viewer and all stuff. But before that, you need to go back to your party connection and type the following command cd capital D desktop and then type wget dash big O hit leap dot msi http colon dash dash hit leap dot com slash viewer slash latest so type that in and it will download um, the hit leap viewer um, install installation for you and afterwards go to system go to your VNC go to your VNC and then go to here and then system xterm xterm and then type this cd desktop so you'll see desktop and then a pound si dollar sign and type wine start hit leap dot msi so blah 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 this call the um this will show the installation file and other stuff I got it already so I'm gonna cancel it but press um repair and other stuff yes cancel it and you should see these Click on Hit Leap Viewer, and then I've installed it already. I've logged in already, so as you can see, my computer is running 916 minutes already. Uh, I'll just click Start, and loading traffic has changed. Please wait. So basically, you're just running Windows applications on your Ubuntu server. So that's really how to start a uh, start a hit leap um, server VPS running. Hope uh, hoping to maximize your mm, website monetization and other stuff. So that's really it for the um, tutorial today. Um, hope you guys 
enjoyed or learnt how to do it at last um, feel free to like subscribe and if there are any questions just just um, message me on YouTube or um, leave a comment below um, thanks for your support and I'll see you guys in the next video peace